If you've never tried traditional Portuguese cuisine, then it doesn't get any more Portuguese than this. What's up everyone? It's Pedro from Cooking Like Ramos. Today's dish is going to be a beautiful bacalhau agonche de sa. Now, I'm using salted cod for this recipe, which is a very traditional way of preserving fish that the Portuguese have used for centuries. As a matter of fact, bacalhau or salted cod is widely used across all of Portugal, all of the islands and is a staple traditional dish of Portugal. So this is the bacalhau I've got. Okay, essentially, if you buy bacalhau and it has the salts all over it to preserve it, you're going to have to soak it in water for 24 hours beforehand minimum to remove that salt. And what you have to do is every couple of hours, every few hours, you have to remove that old water and then fill it up with fresh water again. And that just removes all the salt. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into the video and I'm going to show you how to cook this wonderful dish. Essentially, I want to start by getting three pans full with water. So like I said, I've got three pans, all with boiling water. I'm going to go in first with the bacalhau. So I'm literally going to get the fillet and I'm going to poach it in this water. Just like so. I want to cook these for about 10 minutes or so. I'm going to season this really well with salt. Remember the salt's been removed, so we want to re-add that salt. Now, this water I'm going to season. And I'm going to add some potatoes with the skin on. Now I'm just going to add some hen eggs. So essentially, all we've done so far is we've got some bacalhau, which we've added in salted water, and we're gonna cook that for around 10 minutes or so. Then we're gonna cook some, um, some potatoes. These are just normal white potatoes, and we're gonna cook these with the skin on. We'll then remove the skin afterwards. And we're boiling some hen eggs. So, so far, pretty simple, right? Whilst they're all cooking, let's prep the onion, the garlic, and get everything ready, because once everything's cooked, this dish comes together very, very quickly. So if I just turn this, you can see where it's all starting to flake off and that's indicating to me, and they've both risen, so that indicates to me that they are ready. I've now taken that off the boil and I'm now going to remove them. So bacalao looks pretty ready. I'm going to grab these. It's like flaking right off. That's exactly what you want. Yep. Boiling hot. This is essentially what you're left with. It's literally coming off the bone so easily. Now I'm just going to leave this to cool down. Also the yolks are now boiled. Whilst the potatoes are cooling down, I'm going to remove all the bones off the bacalhau. So, removed all the bones from here to there. That's got some of the skin on as well. If you're someone who doesn't really like getting their hands messy, then you can find some Portuguese shops that do the bacalhau already pretty much all done. Um, it's already been removed from the bone, so it might make your life a little bit easier, but if not, unfortunately, this is the way you've got to do it. But, when it's finished, it will taste beautiful. Right, with the boiled eggs, I'm just gonna give that crushed round. Just gonna prep 
both these. I'm going to give these a slice into wheels. Now we're just going to peel these potatoes. As you can see, it comes off very easy. Now we're just going to simply cut these into circles. Now to this pan I've added olive oil, around two to three tablespoons. Now I'm going to go in with the onion. Now with the onion here, the whole idea is that we cook it slowly, so you do not want the pan at too much of a high heat. You just want to slowly cook it and make the onion translucent. I'm going to add a touch of salt. And of course black pepper. I've got two bay leaves. I'm going to add these in here. This is around three cloves of garlic. I'm going to add that in there. Onions are smelling lovely amazing. Now these onions look absolutely stunning, very beautiful and translucent. I'm now going to go in with the bacalao. Now we just mix. Now it's been about a minute or so. I'm going to go in with some black olives and just cut these up. the potatoes. Just want to be careful with the potatoes, we're just going to flip that all round with one of these spatulas. Now this is really going to change the dish. We're going to add some parsley. I use flat leaf parsley. We're going to grab the handle and just going to give this a mix. I'm just going to simply plate it out. Now we're going to add the eggs. And there you have it. You wouldn't think egg and fish goes, but it really goes so good together. It just complements it, especially with those onions just slowly cooked. It's absolutely beautiful. This is one of my favorite Portuguese recipes. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. If you are a Portuguese -er anywhere in the world, you love Portuguese recipes, make sure you give me a quick little subscribe, like the video, turn the notification bells on because every Tuesday at 6 o'clock, without fail, I'll be uploading another video. So, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace.